Good morning to the Sunday School. Good morning. It's a blessing to be here this morning. We thank God for another opportunity to stand before you and to expound on His Word. Uh, to you who are viewing us by way of Facebook and all the other media outlets, we praise God for you. We pray that you are ready to study His Word. We thank God that He has allowed us to come one more time to witness His amazing grace. Pray with me if you would, Lord God of heaven and of earth. Yes, yes. Lord, we thank you this morning thank for you, you've been good to us. Yes, you have. You have brought us from way over yonder to over here. Oh, yeah. And for that we are grateful. You stood over us, O oh God, all night Thank long, you, and you, you touched us early this morning mm -hmm. with the finger of your divine love. Mm -hmm. You awakened us, and God, you dressed us in our right mind. Mm -hmm. You gave us a good portion of health and strength, and for that we are grateful. Thank you, Lord. Now, God, we ask that you will allow me to step aside and use this Body, these clay lips to speak that which you will have your people to hear. <clears throat> Let some woman, boy, or girl be comforted by what is said on this morning. Mm. We thank you, Lord God, for the man you put in this mountain, yes, that he will continue to lead, guide, and direct us, that we will give your name honor, praise, and glory. Yes. We pray, God, because of the days that has transpired, we pray that you will strengthen him on every leaning side. Mm -hmm. Lower him, O oh God, into the deep recesses of your word. Give him a message, O oh God, that will cause men to wonder what it is that I can do to be saved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bless the sick now, O oh God, because you yes. are a healer. Yes, Lord. Heal those that are sick this morning. Right now. We speak life and not death. God, we pray that you would uh, comfort those that are mourning. Give them, O oh God, to know that earth has no sorrows, that heaven cannot heal. And to this end, Lord God, we are careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Lord God, we speak a word this morning, a word of comfort to the Wood family, Lord God, uh, uh, that you will comfort uh, that family this morning with the passing of their loved one. Mm -hmm. We pray, God, that you will wrap your loving arms about them. Give them to know that you are God and above thee there is no other. Yes, sir. Give them to know, Lord God, that you know all things and that you love them best. Yeah, yeah. And we thank you now. Thank you, Lord. Bless Galilee as a whole. Oh, yeah. Bring us back into uh, your presence, O oh God. And we will give you praise, honor, and glory. It is in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and thank God. Sister. Chris Woods. Chris, brother. Chris Woods. Wife passed. And we are praying that God will comfort that brother. Oh, it's his brother's wife. No, his wife. Brother Wood. Chris Wood. Chris Wood, the guy that built this sanctuary. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, his wife there? Yep. We have a beautiful lesson this morning. A very powerful lesson this morning. Yeah. My lesson says, praise with music. Mm -hmm. I need you to understand what the writer is doing this morning, the writer here being Pastor Moses. Mm -hmm. This lesson deals with Moses and his sister Miriam as they sang a song. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a little background here. Israel had been in captivity for a long time. Mm -hmm in Egypt. Mm -hmm. And God promised Abram, uh, you know him as 
Abraham that he would deliver his children or his family out of bondage in the fourth generation. Mm -hmm. Watch this it. Abraham, the children of Israel went in with approximately 70 people. Joseph was already there in Egypt. And the Bible says uh, a new king rose up and he did not know what uh, uh, Joseph had done. Amen. So uh, this new king of Egypt plagued Israel. He, he even went so far as to try to destroy all of them. He even told the midwives, yeah. if there's a boy, you kill him. Yeah. Why? Because he figured that if it's a, uh, he had heard about a king, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he wanted to ensure that his throne was secure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he said, kill all of them. Yes, sir. But God, yes, sir. God would not have that to be so. Mm -hmm. And watch this here now. As we come up to Moses talk to us this morning uh, out of the book of Exodus, the 15th chapter. You would need to really look back to the 14th, 13th chapter of Exodus to really get a good, strong picture of what is happening here. But Moses here, he says, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, amongst the gods? You notice that small G-O-D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's an S on gods. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, the reason is because Egypt had worshipped many gods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had God of wood, God of moon, God of fertility, uh, God of gold. Mm -hmm. They had many gods. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. But Moses said, you have seen what the God of, of uh, the Hebrew has done. He is the large G-O-D. <laughs> and Moses said, there is none in the earth like unto him. And, and, and this is what we need to see today. There is no God like God, our God. No, 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 no. Huh? That's right. He says, then he says, Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, doing wonders? Mm -hmm. Moses said, listen, I, th th there is none like God, mm -hmm. like Jehovah. Mm -hmm. huh? There is none. He is Holy. Mm -hmm. That's I need you to hold on to that. Those other gods are not holy. Mm -hmm. They are just idols. 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 That's it. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. idols. And let me go and throw this in right quick. If you are God, uh -huh. if you belong to God, uh -huh. God requires you to be what? Holy. 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 Why? Because he's, he's holy. Holy. Mm -hmm. uh, Come on, brother. Watch this here. The other God never required that. Uh, uh -huh. I, I, let me go on and talk to you this morning. Uh, because, uh, first superintendent, uh, the gods of Egypt never spoke to the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. But the God of Israel talked with his people. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Uh, That's right. And you're going to see some things in this lesson. This God uh, 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 that we serve, he is a mighty God. Mm. Mm. He is an awesome God. Mm. Come on, bro, teach uh, This God that we serve, bro, chairman, yes, was way back in Genesis 1. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's right. That's right. The God that we serve told a Moses to go tell Pharaoh, I am sent you. Yes, sir. Well, what does that mean? It means mean, I'm God because I'm God. That's it. Huh? That's it. I exist because I exist. I am who I say I am. Huh? Why is it? All the other gods of Egypt were handmade. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God had no beginning. No, no. He has no end. Mm -hmm. He is just God. Just God. Uh, and, and I need you to understand something.
something here. God that we serve don't need you. Amen. Oh, teacher, come on now. Huh? Amen. And, but you sure enough That's need up. God. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. <laughs> he is an awesome God. Watch, watch here. He says, Thou, Moses talking about God. <laughs> watch it now. Thou stretches out thy right hand, and the earth swallowed them. Mm -hmm. You know what he's talking about? Mm -hmm. I need to take you back into Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, when God told Moses to go down and tell Pharaoh mm -hmm. to let his people go. Uh -huh. And because of the gods that they served, and even the Egyptians thought Pharaoh was a god. Mm -hmm. So God sent ten plagues to punish because he had told uh, Abram that I'm going to punish the people that punished my people. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he sent the plagues to punish Egypt mm -hmm. because Pharaoh got hard-headed. Mm -hmm. He would not let he, uh, uh, Israel go. No, we're not let him go. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, now when the, when the Bible speaks that he stretched out his hand, I need you to understand, God don't have hands. Mm -hmm. Now, I need you to understand because God is a what? Spirit. Yeah. Hear me now. God that we serve is a spirit mm -hmm. and a spirit don't have hands. But this is the language that Moses used to show us how God works for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm? He said he stretched out his right hand, mm -hmm. which denotes the hand of power. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. And he says, when he stretched out his hand, the earth swallowed. Yes, sir. Now, let me show you what he's talking about there. <laughs> you remember when, 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 when God told Moses, take my people out into a place where they can worship me. Mm -hmm. He led them out of Egypt into the wilderness. Mm -hmm. He led them to the Red Sea. The Red sea. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And God told Moses, Moses, what you got in your hand? Yes, sir. Stretch it out. And when he stretched it out, the Bible said the sea split. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And you got scientists Trying to tell me that it was a hurricane uh -huh. that came and uh -huh. split the water. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, prove to me that a hurricane dried up the bottom. Because the Bible said, and they walked on dry land. Dry land. <laughs> but, 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 but here it comes. Come here it comes. Come come here it comes. Uh, Israel walked through. The Red Sea yes, sir. all night. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. And then when God looked and saw Everybody. his people, the Bible said he told Moses, now stretch out your hand again. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, this is where uh, the, the earth swallowed. Yeah. He said, and Pharaoh, because of his hard head, yeah. followed the children of Israel down into the Red Sea. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. And the Bible said that he took 600 chariots yes, sir. to pursue them. Mm -hmm. And watch this here. And when he pursued them, God had, God was, and you'll see this in the letter, God guided them. Mm -hmm. God led them. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh never caught up with them, but he was so apt to catch them that he followed them down into the Red Sea. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when the children of Israel got to the other side, the Bible said, and God closed up yes, sir. the sea yes, sir. on Israel. I mean, on Egypt. Mm -hmm. Egypt. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. If you saw the movie, yeah. you, you notice in the movie, that's why we got to be careful. Because Pharaoh stood on the bank mm -hmm. while his chariots went down in there and they were all killed. Yeah, yeah. But the Bible said all his, he 
and all his horsemen and chariot were destroyed in the sea. Yes, sir. Uh, Pharaoh died too. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. There is no need for Pharaoh to live because God had spoken it. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. Watch him. He said, and thou stretch out thy right hand and the earth swallowed them. When the water came over Watch this. When the water began to come close up, the Bible said Pharaoh and them tried to retreat. Yeah. <laughs> but what the Bible said, but God tore off the chariot wheels <laughs> so that they could not turn and go back the opposite way. Uh -huh. So they were trapped in the Red Sea. That's right. That's right. Uh, you can't be God. You sure can't be God. No matter how you try. Amen. Huh? <laughs> so Pharaoh and all of his army was destroyed. Uh -huh. Now who wouldn't serve a God like that? Yes, sir. <laughs> Verse 13. Thou in thy mercy has led forth the people which thou has redeemed. Mm -hmm. Thou has guided them in thy strength unto thy holy habitation. Watch it. Watch this. Ah. Uh, so we can see the hand of God. The Bible said, Thou hast guided. God guided uh, Moses and the children of Israel through the Red Sea, through the wilderness, yeah. headed toward uh, a habitation that God had planted. Mm -hmm. hmm? mm -hmm. It wasn't, uh, let's not get that word habitation confused with a building mm -hmm. or a, a, a necessary place because it says a holy habitation. Mm -hmm. And wherever God is, it's what? Holy. Holy. Yes, uh, I need to prove that, I know. <laughs> when he was up on the mountain, mm -hmm. he told Moses, Moses, take the shoes off your feet. Yes, because the ground that you stand in is holy. Uh, he told Moses, tell your people, don't come near the mountain. Uh, don't even touch it lest you die because the mountain was what? Holy. Because the presence of the Lord is holy. That's why, brothers, you can't do anything in this house. Because it is holy unto God. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch, watch, watch it. He says, uh, the people shall hear it. God finna get, God finna get uh, meticulous now. Watch this here. He says, 14, the people shall hear and be afraid. Saul shall take hold of the inhabitant of Philistia. What, what, what you think he's talking about here? The reputation. The reputation of, of, of the children of Israel. That's right. God, they, they know that they, all this was, was for the, the purpose, not only for the people that he was leading, but for the people that they would come in contact with. That's right. Yeah. 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 And, and watch this. Watch it now. Watch how God do this thing. <laughs> he said, when you come to a certain place, that I promised Abraham, it's yours. Mm -hmm. Why is it? Because when God say a thing, he has already done it. Remember now, God go to an end of a thing before you get to the beginning. Amen. Huh? Amen. He led, the Bible said, he guided them out of Egypt, led them through the wilderness, into the Red Sea, out of the Red Sea, and now they're on the other side of the river. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They are headed toward the promised land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A place where God said is yours. But, there is a but. Yeah. <laughs> there are some people that you're going to come in contact with. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. Because I have already gone before you. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, 
when they heard of Israel, mm -hmm. fear gripped them. Rahab. That's right. Rahab said, I heard uh, of the God of Israel. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. I know, know how, <laughs> how awesome he is. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me that you, you can sit in the presence of God and, and, and not know how awesome he is. Amen. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why a child of God ought not fear COVID-19. Because mm -hmm. COVID-19 is not bigger than God. Come on, brother. Teach out. Huh? Say it. Moses tell Israel, the Philistines are going to get scared. Not only that, watch this here now. And then it goes on to say, Then the dukes of Edom shall be amazed. The mighty men of Moab, trembling, shall take hold upon them. All the inhabitants of Canaan shall melt away. Oh, let me, let me, let me holler at you. Let me holler at you. All right, we got reputation now. The Hittite, uh -huh. the Jebusite, mm -hmm. the Moabite, mm -hmm. the Amalekite, mm -hmm. the Canaanite, mm -hmm. the all otherites <laughs> got scared. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says you will have houses that you what? Mm -hmm. Didn't build. Mm -hmm. You will have vineyards that you didn't plant. Why? Because I promised it to your ancestors. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. yes, sir. All you got to do is walk in and possess it. Walk in. Mm -hmm. hmm? yes. It's all your. Well, what, 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 what you talking about, Bertie? Everywhere the sole of your feet shall trot. I have already given it. What that mean? That mean that it has already happened before you see it happen. Yes, sir. Huh? That's why the Bible said you were healed. Mm -hmm. Not you are going to be healed. You are already healed. Mm -hmm. Even though you may be in pain, mm -hmm. if your faith mm -hmm. is strong enough, mm -hmm. you are healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. He already did that down the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. W w watch him. Uh, all those people that have, will come in contact with uh, Moses and them, they won't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, we understand Moses ain't going to see most of this. Because Moses is going to drop off the scene. Yeah. And then you got another leader. Mm -hmm. What that mean when they said the dukes of Edom? It's talking about the leaders, the, the generals, the, the head. Mm -hmm. They're going to get scared. <laughs> and when they get scared and run... The army gonna fall behind them. Yes, and all Israel, you remember when 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 God told uh, them to go to Jericho because Jericho was in the way. Mm -hmm. hmm? The walls of Jericho was in the way. Mm -hmm. And they wonder whether or not we can take it. You ain't gotta lift a sword. Right. You ain't gotta lift a hand. All you gotta do is lift a foot. Mm -hmm. Huh? Pass about it. Seven times. Amen. And then on the seventh time, yes, sir. shout. Yes, sir. All you got to do is shout. Yes, huh? Yes, There's something about shouting. <laughs> Even today in the military, when we hit a place, we hit it with a loud noise. Yes, huh? Everybody go in shouting yes, because it confuses the enemy. Amen. Amen. <laughs> when they shout. The Bible said, and the walls of Jericho fell flat. Yes, sir. And the children of Israel walked right on in. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the God that we serve. That we yes, serve. Sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, sir. He says, fear and dread shall fall upon them by the greatness of thine arm. They shall be as steel as a stone. Till thy people pass over. 
O Lord, till the people pass over which thou hast purchased. Mm -hmm. what, does, what does that mean? He said, the enemy, they're going to be so scared, they're going to be like, they're going to be just like stone. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is pass over. You ain't got to fight. You just got to go in. You got to go in. That's it. Uh, Take already sick. That's right. <laughs> and he says, uh, it's the people that you have purchased. Mm -hmm. Huh? The Bible called Jesus our what? Kinsman what? Mm -hmm. Redeemer. Yeah. That word redeemer means he redeemed us with his precious what? Blood. Blood. That's uh, you, you got to know that he went to Calvary. For your sin, because you needed to be purchased. Yes, you were bound by sin. You were enslaved. So somebody had to buy you. Mm -hmm. yes, the blood of a goat couldn't buy you. Mm -hmm. huh? There is no man on earth that could purchase you because that is not enough. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said. Jesus went to Calvary, mm -hmm. yes, hung, bled, and died mm -hmm. for your sin and mine. Mm -hmm. But I heard somebody say, but that's not how the story, story ends. Yeah. But three days later, three days. what? Rose. He rose again. Yeah. That's for our salvation. There it is right there. Yeah. When he got up, we became saved with all power. because of what he did. And this is what God told Abraham that in four generations I'm going to bring it to pass. All right, all right. Watch this here. It was already done. Uh -huh. But Abraham did not see it. Amen. Huh? Amen. I need you to understand some, some things are going to happen and you and I are not going to see it. Hmm. But it has it is spoken. Mm -hmm. I need to show you something. Y'all are too young to know anything about this here. But you know that wall that's around this church right out there? Uh -huh. uh, but Steve, do you know the money to build that wall was on the books for 15 years uh -huh. before it was spent to build the wall? Mm -hmm. They talked about that for years. Mm -hmm. huh? That's how God is. Yeah. He, had all, he already had a plan. Uh -huh. It had already been enacted. Huh? All you have to do is, is, is be there. Just be there. That's it. Just be there. My Lord. Watch this here. We gotta, I know we got to run. 17. Thou shalt bring them in and plant them in the mountain of thine inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which thou hast made for thee to dwell in, in the sanctuary, O Lord, which thou hands have established. Watch this. The sanctuary is could be talking about, and I believe that it's talking about either uh, Mount uh, Sinai or Mount Harold mm -hmm. is the sanctuary, and a sanctuary is a place where God dwells. Huh? We don't want to get that confused with a building because God told them, so, David, you can't build me a house. Huh? First of all, I'm too big for a house. There's not enough timber material on the earth to build a house because the Bible said uh, heaven is his footstool. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. And earth, well, earth is his footstool. Uh -huh. Heaven is his dwelling place. So, a house here ain't big enough for God. But the mountain of God, which it is called, is his holy sanctuary. Yes, sir. Hmm? We quick, we move yeah. quickly. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Understand that. There is no time when God ain't. No, no. <laughs> I know that's bad mm -hmm. English. But God has always been. For the Bible said, from everlasting unto everlasting, thou art what? God. God. Mm -hmm. uh, he was before Genesis 1. And he'll be after Revelation 21. Yes, 
Uh, because he's told uh, uh, Moses, tell them I am that I am. I am because I am. Huh? There is no under, and the Bible says there is no searching of his knowledge. No, 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 no. Because we are, we got a finite mind. But God has an infinite mind. Huh? Mm -hmm. He says here, for the horse of Pharaoh went in with his ship. There it is. Watch this now. Watch it. It says, Steve, read 19. Verse 19. For the horses of Pharaoh went in with his sheriff chariots and with his horsemen into the sea. And the Lord brought again the water of the sea upon them. But the children of Israel went on dry land in the midst of the sea. Listen, listen. There, it, it makes absolutely no sense for Pharaoh to send horses and chariots and no riders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So understand when the Bible said his horsemen, it including the riders. So we have to be careful how we uh, uh, interpret scripture. Mm -hmm. Verse 19 says, For the horses of Pharaoh went in. Now, come on now. What good is a horse and a chariot going to do to the people? Because mm -hmm. if somebody sent a horse and a chariot to, after me, I'm going to get on the, whole, the, the chariot mm -hmm. and ride them on through. Amen. But if God took out all Egypt's forces mm -hmm. because they had treated Israel mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. And here it is now. Here it is. Here's the ending of this thing. This is where Moses' sister and Moses, this whole lesson is a song, as I told you in the onset. And Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, and we know that Aaron is Moses' brother, mm -hmm. took a timber, a, a timbre in her hand. That's a tambourine. And all the women went out after her with trim timber and with dance. In other words, she and the women went out beating the tambourine. Yeah. And they had they had started a party. Uh -huh. Giving God praise, uh -huh. giving God honor for what He had done. Uh -huh. What had He done? He had closed up the Red Sea on Pharaoh, yes. and the children of Israel passed over on dry land. In other words, they, the enemy was defeated. We need to look back when we are going through and see how God Amen. took care of them. He's the same today. Yesterday and for oh, what? Evermore. evermore. Yeah. He never changes. So if he did it for them, Job said, I'm gonna wait till my change comes. Till my change comes. Yes, sir. Huh? Mm -hmm. No matter what I have to go through, bro, bro Chairman, I'm gonna wait. Yes, I'm gonna wait. Mm -hmm. Sickness is gonna come. Oh, yeah. But I'm gonna wait. Uh -huh. huh? And I'm gonna put mama them said, I'm gonna put my hand. In the hand of the man that comes to see. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. We done. We done. And Miriam answered them, Sing ye to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his rider has he thrown into the sea. Yes, and there you answer. Bye bye, uh -huh. Pharaoh. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Bye bye. God wins again. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. God answered a question. Uh, whether God kept a promise that He made to Abel, mm -hmm. who later became known as Abraham. He guided the children of Abraham through the Red Sea. Yes, sir. Brought them eventually into a land flowing with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. A land that was promised to them. And that tells me that God is a promise keeper. 
That's mm -hmm. Amen. Because they didn't get it right away. We understand that they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. Mm -hmm. huh? Moses had to die out. Joshua had to finish the uh, march. And remember, when God guided them, watch this here, God didn't force march Israel. God knew what was in the people of Israel. He knew that there were old folks. Mm -hmm. He knew that there were pregnant women, women that had given birth. So he tenderly yeah. guided them. Yes, sir. Uh, he took care to make sure that they will all make it into the promised land, mm -hmm. except when they disobeyed. Well, teacher, that, yes, sir. When you think about it, I'm just thinking 40 years is a long, long time. Absolutely. It's a long time. To be here, well. <laughs> and, and the trip didn't take that long. I can't remember what they Three said. Days. Three, Three days. Three days. Mm -hmm. But they were in the wilderness. In other words, they were lost in God. They would get lost in God, then they would find him again. Then they would get lost in God, they would find him again. And the generation that left Egypt wasn't the same generation no. that came into the promised land. Absolutely. Because he had to sterilize mm -hmm. them. He had to clean them up from what they had learned over in Egypt. Mm -hmm. huh? Because they had got filthy mm -hmm. in Egypt. You, you know, you heard some of them say, uh, Moses, you brought us out here to die. We could have, uh, back in Egypt, at least we had graves. Yeah. But then a lot of them had died out. Yeah, a lot, a lot of them died, died out. Right? Everybody, yeah. 20 and below, yeah. mm -hmm. or 20 and above, oh. died out. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because God wanted a people that, a that he could, uh, uh, that would worship him. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a message in that, mm -hmm. and we gone. God don't need you. And God will, if it pleases him, move you. Uh, the Bible, somewhere the Bible said, there are thousands who have not bowed to Baal. Mm -hmm. I don't need you. Uh, but we show sure need God. Mm -hmm. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. God sanctify you. This is our prayer. Amen. 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 Amen.